Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Design Together. Sorry this video took so long to make. I've just been really busy with projects. That's not an excuse. You guys are just as important as the project. So here we are making another video on slattery animation. So let's get to animating things. Okay, so this is the slider animation that we're going to be creating in the video. So this is the intended outcome here. And this is how the file is broken down. So only thing that's been changed since the last video is I put these cards inside another frame that spans the same width as our main desktop frame. And then I'd put this thing called scroll space, which I'll explain what we do, what it does. If you're following for along from a previous video, which I made about how to build out this uh, slider component, then your file should look something like this right now. If not, make sure to check out that video to see how we built this slider component. So to start off, I'm gonna actually detach this instance so I can actually start growing my component. So I'm gonna right click and I do that with just like a two finger click on my trackpad. I use a trackpad, some people like a mouse. I know that's weird. So yeah, detach instance. Okay, so what we have in our folder now is our arrow buttons. We got this progress bar, we got our cards, and we got this section header. So what we wanna do is we wanna make these cards scroll horizontally. So the way to do that is you go into prototype and there is an option here that pops up when you have a frame to allow it to be a horizontal scroll. So let's put these cards inside a frame. So I'm gonna do that by hitting option command G. So now they're inside of frame and see how the prototype window changed. And now you can uh, indicate what scrolling behavior you want. So for this intention or this use, we're going to be using a horizontal scroll. This error comes up because it's past uh, the desktop frame. So if I were to like reduce the frame size to meet the borders of my main desktop frame, that error goes away. So I'm gonna make this actually frame the full width of the, I'm gonna make it span the whole desktop frame and I'm gonna call this frame scroll window. So this is gonna be your main scroll window. So let's see what happens right now if we click play and see how it prototypes. So let's go down. So if you notice if you, the prototyping is not there yet, like you can't really see the edge of the last card, which then that's not the experience we want. We want the user to be able to see the edge of the, the slider. So we're going to do a little work around here. So in our scroll window, I'm going to add a rectangle shape. So I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and just have it span a little bit past our, our uh, cards group here. So the more past it goes the cards group, like the more past, like the further away it goes like past this cards group like the bigger your scroll window is going to be so this is kind of like setting the size of your scroll window so i'm going to make this place it like behind the cards i'm gonna call it scroll space and if you were to make it transparent figma doesn't uh, recognize it anymore so I, you need to make it the same color as the background or have it like not visible somehow without uh, reducing uh, its transparency or opacity or its visibility because Sigma doesn't like that for some reason. Um, so yeah, let's see now what happens if we click play. Nice. So now like it's a way smoother experience in scrolling. The other thing you could do too is you could have this shape. Ooh, you can have this shape like be at the edges, uh, like past just past your card too. Like if you put it here and click play, same result. You're just trying to tell Figma that there's more space here. Uh, I've seen people do it both ways, whatever you feel comfortable with, that works. And yeah, that's pretty much how easy it is to do a slider animation in Figma. Uh, you can like 
do it with like clicks and go to like a different artboard, but it gets kind of like janky, especially if you're working with a lot of artboards. So it's kind of cleaner just to put like an object spacer uh, in your scroll window. So if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. If you want to check out how this slider component was built, make sure to check out the slider uh, component video, which I will leave in the description of this video. So thank you for watching the video. Make sure to leave your questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to them as quickly as I can. I've got a lot of really cool content planned. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video.